Here are the top four scams you gotta watch out for in 2024. Unfortunately, we know scammers aren't going anywhere. So the first scam we're gonna talk about today is the ghost dependent scam. And this scam, the criminals who do it are the like lowest of low life scumbags. So what they do is they look through obituaries for children who have died. And of course the obituary has their full name, has their information. Once they do that, they use their resources to obtain the social security number of this dead child. And then what do they do? They try and steal their identity and they try and claim them on their tax returns. So they will fire a uh, file a tax return with this dead child's social security number and try and get money back from the government again. They also sell it on the dark web. And so they're gonna try and sell it to other people who will pay for it to steal their identity in that. I know a girl who had a friend, her friend dated a guy and this guy turned out was one of these scumbags who was going on the dark web and buying social security numbers of dead children. Obviously horrible, terrible. So what do you do? If you have a, anybody, a spouse, a loved one, a child pass away, you need to call the social security administration. You need to lock that social security number. That way nobody can use it. Nobody can use it to open bank accounts or steal identities or use on a tax returns. So horrible, horrible scam, but that is the ghost dependent scam you got to watch out for. The second scam you got to watch out for in 2024 is sim swapping. So how does sw sim swapping work? Say that 10 times fast. Is criminals, they go online, they gather information about you, right? So they're checking your Facebook page, they're checking Twitter, they're checking your LinkedIn, they're checking all your social media, try to gather as much information, personal information as you can. And they will call your phone provider and impersonate you and say, hey, my card's not working, I'm having a problem with my sim, can you send me a new sim card? And guess what? All it is is to a numbers game, to them, because you're thinking like, oh, no phone provider has ever fall for that or AT&T or T-Mobile or Verizon. Guess what? They do. It happens. This is why it's a scam I'm warning you about. So they can dial hundreds of dials a day. They can dial 250 times a day and all they need is one person to say yes a day and they've got their information. So what happens when this criminal gets sent the new SIM card? Obviously, they put it into their phone and then what happens? Well, they've gathered enough information and they may have hacked other accounts of yours and say, you know what? I want to try and find their banking information. I want to try and find their password. If they are able to obtain that and they log into your bank, well, many people have two-factor authentication. So what happens? Your bank sends a text message to your phone with a code. Well, guess what? They now have your phone because they have a SIM card, which means the text messages go to them so they can see, okay, the log into Bank of America right now. I logged it in. It sent me the code and the code is 12345. They can get into your bank account and empty it. So be careful when you're using this two-factor authentication for text messages. So nobody wants to talk on the phone anymore except me because I use a flip phone. I don't text. I've never sent a text message in my life, but they can dial you up and call you if you want. But the most important thing to do of all is to check your stuff. Meaning when things stop working, a lot of people are so busy. They're like, oh, my phone's having trouble. You know, I'll, you know, I'll wait a few days, like immediately contact your phone provider. If something looks fishy in your bank, immediately contact your bank. So I think that's the biggest, the biggest problem. The best way to solve this is don't put it off for days. Don't put it off for hours. The first time you see something that doesn't fish, Seem, or excuse me, seems fishy, immediately get on the horn, immediately see if someone has SIM swapped your card. Now, a very important thing I do to protect my privacy from all these scams that I'm talking about, and one of my favorite things to do is to use a company called Delete Me, and these days it's pretty inevitable that you have to give out some personal information online, but that doesn't mean you have to be an easy target for scammers. I use Delete Me as a quick and easy way to remove my personal data online, and if you care about safeguarding your identity, then this is definitely a great tool for you too. Delete Me scours the internet meticulously and removes your personal information from public databases and people search sites. So imagine a scammer's frustration when they realize there's absolutely nothing to find about you, to scam you on and any of that. And as a special gift to my viewers, you can get 20% off of your privacy plan by going to joindeleteme.com slash Hanson and use code Hanson. The third scam I want to talk about is the never ending door to door salesman scams. It is about to be summer soon when what does summer mean? That means you've got coming people by selling uh, pest control, selling alarm systems, uh, roof repairs, all kind of stuff. Now, the two ways this scam works. One is a criminal knocks in your door, he's casing your house, and he's saying, hey, should I come back and do a home invasion? Should I come back and rob this person? Which is why you want to appear confident, you want to have cameras, when you answer that door, you want to make sure you're verifying things. If he says, hey, you know, I work for so-and-so magazine, already oh, have a business card, can I talk to your boss? Verify these things to see if it's a criminal you need to be worried about. Now, maybe they're not doing a home invasion,
location. Maybe it's a roofing company who just wants to rip you off or an alarm company. When they show up on the door, clearly never give them all the money up front. Research them on the internet. Don't let them give you the information because of course it could be false if they hand you that business card. Always double check what's on the card. So if they say, hey, I work for XYZ Alarm Company. You know, I'm sure you've heard of us. Yes, I have. You know, here's my business card. Well, of course that could be his friend. That could be his friend backstopping him. So you say, oh yeah, I know them. You go online and you Google, you know, XYZ Alarm Company. Hey, do you have a technician named Josh Smith who's, you know, working today or this and that? Yes, we do. Or no, we've never heard of a Josh Smith. He's not on our payroll. So what amazes me is most people, especially when hiring employees, don't verify anything these days. They don't verify references. Like check those references and guess what? The trick is when you get a reference, you say to them, hey, do you know anybody else I can call? So ask the reference for a reference. Because of course they put people who are most likely to gonna say good things, but you wanna ask those references, who else can I call that they did not put on the list? So I think it was Ronald Reagan who said, trust but verify. When you got these guys knocking on your door selling stuff during the summer, don't be afraid on the inter get on the internet, which takes two seconds, and verify all the information is true, especially that they do indeed work for that particular company. So now let's move on to scam number four. Scam number four is the Facebook Marketplace scam. And this actually happened to a friend of mine. I'm gonna tell you that story. So how does the Facebook Marketplace scam work? Well, somebody puts on Facebook, hey, you know, I'm getting rid of furniture. I'm getting rid of this. You know, I, I wanna sell it and make it a good deal. And they say, I will deliver it to you for free. And they say, however, I wanna make sure you're serious that you really do want this. So all I ask is you put half down and then I'll come deliver it. So they're very, they're over nice, right? Everybody should be nice. But these days, if somebody's like bending over backwards, like, hey, you know, I'm gonna deliver it. You don't have to lift a finger. You don't, you know, do anything. Maybe think twice. So in my friend's case, I'm gonna walk you through how the full scam works. She lives in Texas. She saw a patio furniture set for sale. She reached out to the person and said, hey, you know, I'd like this patio furniture set. And the woman said, and it had free delivery. And the woman said, oh yeah, I'll, I'll deliver for free. All I ask is that you put half down. So my friend sent her several hundred dollars. The B, I can't remember if it was cash out, Venmo, or however she did it, some way that she couldn't uh, get a clot back. And then this woman who was supposed to deliver the furniture said, oh, you know, my boyfriend's not home yet. You know, it's gonna be a few hours, so before we can deliver it, kept stringing her out. And I'll tell you the reason she kept stringing her out. So finally, it became late in the evening. And my friend who bought the, thought she bought the patio furniture said, hey, are you coming? He said, my boyfriend worked really late tonight. It was it's unexpected. Can we please deliver it in noon tomorrow? My friend said, sure, no problem. So next day in the morning, they're still going back and forth. She says, yeah, we're gonna be on time. We're leaving now, all this kind of stuff. Well, noon rolled around and the patio furniture never showed up. Nothing was there. She stopped hearing from this person. She went on the Facebook listing marketplace and was gone and this person's profile was completely gone. So what do they do? They set up these fake profiles. They say they're selling something and then it's gonna be free delivery. That way you don't have to lift a finger and they string you out to try and collect as much money as possible from people under this profile with this Facebook listing and then you know this fake profile they've set up. So she lasted you know a day and then the next day until noon probably collected thousands of dollars from various people and then once the gig was up obviously people are starting to run out of patience she deleted her profile and was a ghost and like I said made a lot of money. So what do you do? Well first if a listing looks too good to be true as I said if they're bending over backwards white glove service free delivery you don't have to do anything raise the red flag but meet in person and then you pay them when you see the goods. So don't Venmo them all this kind of stuff because they're a complete stranger and they may never show up, which happened in my friend's case. So I know a lot of people don't want to meet in person. They want to be super lazy and have super convenience these days. But if I'm buying something, I'm saying, listen, I'll meet you in the Home Depot parking lot. I will have cash there. I want to inspect the goods to make sure the table isn't damaged or the patio furniture isn't damaged or whatnot. So be careful of this marketplace scam on Facebook because it happens all the time and it's going to be never ending. So now you know the four scams you need to watch out for in 2024. Stay safe. God bless you. And don't forget to subscribe to my Patreon. Please support the channel because you're going to get some behind the scenes look, some of my vlog look and things that I definitely don't share on YouTube. So subscribe to Patreon if you can and I would appreciate it.